In honor of Women's Health Week, we're going to take a look at peripheral artery disease, or PAD, with Dr. Azer Iqbal from Buffalo Vascular Care here on Transit Road in Lancaster. Hi, doctor. Thanks for having us. Hi, Linda. Thank you very much for having me. We, we uh, actually call this PAD, P-A-D, peripheral artery disease. What is it? Peripheral arterial disease is a buildup of plaque inside the artery that creates blockage to blood flow. Mm -hmm. And depending on its location, it uh, creates different uh, symptoms. For example, if there's blockage and flow in the leg, um, then uh, there is um, uh, rest pain or pain when you're walking, and ultimately it can uh, uh, end up in non-healing ulcer and amputations. Any specific group particularly that would be susceptible to this? Yes, indeed. Uh, diabetics are at, at about 300% more higher risk than general population to, for PAD. Uh, smokers are mm -hmm. also 300%. And diabetics who smoke, they are at actually 900% mm. higher risk than uh, um, our general population. And I understand that if you think of a heart attack or you think of a stroke, we're thinking about the uh, the plaque in the artery that narrows that artery and um, allows blood to actually stop flowing. That's correct. And the same process also goes on in the leg. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to bring you right here mm -hmm. uh, at this illustration, you can uh, imagine that these are blood cells flowing down this is a buildup of a plaque, mm -hmm. and uh, here's the, the plaque that, that creates the obstruction and flow. Mm -hmm. um, right here is a thrombus or uh, a clot that has formed, and sometimes this plaque can have bleeding underneath it, can just close off that lumen, and blood flow stops. Wow. So what would the treatments be for this? Uh, at this point, uh, um, unfortunately, uh, medications don't work. You mm -hmm. have to actually go in there and remove the plaque. And nowadays, uh, with our endovascular techniques, this can be done um, outside the hospital or as an outpatient oh, that's um, great. to open up these arteries and restore blood flow. What symptoms might someone have to alert you that this is happening? When it occurs over time, generally starts off as uh, um, the person start, um, uh, being able to walk less and less. Oh. Uh, they usually get calf cramps or leg, or leg cramps. Mm -hmm. And with time, the distance get uh, shorter and shorter. Then comes the time where they have rest pain when you're not walking. Mm. And that is called critical limb ischemia. And the step after that is that if there's any skin opening, tear, blister, ulceration, it, it becomes non-healing ulcer, which uh, unfortunately, ultimately, can uh, end up being an amputation. Oh, mm, my goodness. Let's also talk about venous disease for a second. Yes, um, varicose veins, right. you can help people with that. Yes, indeed. And uh, unlike uh, PAD, which is the disease of the arteries, blood flowing from the heart down to an organ, venous disease is a... Um, a, a disease of the blood vessels coming, bringing the blood back to the heart. Right. And uh, gravity is the enemy, uh, and also the weight. Mm -hmm. So uh, what happens is that the system of the valves that uh, drags the, blow, uh, the blood flow up mm -hmm. fails, and blood tends to pool in the legs. The, the, um, those blood vessels uh, or veins, which have very small and thin walls, they start to dilate, and which further... Um, uh, degrades the flow, yeah. and then you start to see um, veins bulging in the legs. Oh, and we have the good treatments for that. We do. Um, it starts off with a healthy lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, not uh, becoming overweight. But unfortunately, uh, it's also a disease that runs in families, yes. and um, it's more common in women as compared to men. Okay. And it gets worse with each pregnancy because the hormonal changes. So uh, the way to prevent it, A, stay in shape, a lot of exercise, and wear compression stockings. Okay. Well, you heard it from Dr. Iqbar, and I'm telling you, this is the place you want to be because they can actually treat you right here. Now, we're located at uh, Buffalo Vascular Care right on Transit Road in Lancaster. Don't let something like this go. When it comes to pad or venous care, Dr. Iqbar here will see you at Buffalo Vascular Care.